Hi and welcome to another video. So today we are going to be showing you how to access your DVR or NVR via your PC or laptop. Okay, so there's a few situations where you might want to do this, but we're, we're really concentrating on one situation today. And that is maybe you have no monitor or there's a, a resolution problem with your monitor. So let me quickly go over the resolution problem. Um, some of the old monitors and things like that, uh, you might get an issue where you get no picture on your display. So what we have to do is log in to the DVR via your PC and then we can change the resolution to match your monitor. Okay, so uh, this is not a big problem nowadays. It used to be a problem with the older DVRs, but this is why we recommend to all installers, please carry a laptop with you on every job because you just never know what problems are going to come ahead and obviously a, a cable as well so you can connect to your system. All right, then, so how do we go around doing this? So what we're going to need is a SADP tool. So this is a, a popular tool from Hikvision, and uh, there's a link below how to how to enable it and download it. It's pretty straightforward. And then we're, we're going to show you how to uh, log on to our DVR now. OK, so this is our DVR we want to get in here. We're going to imagine a scenario where uh, we, we have no picture. OK, the monitor's not working. So. We've enabled DHCP, and that means we can log on remotely. Okay, so we're onto our DVR here. Enter your password. Okay, we're here. So we go to configuration, and then we have menu output. Okay, then so we've got different resolutions here. So obviously. There's only four here, so we recommend you go through the different resolutions and match it to your monitor if it's not working. Okay, so obviously you go here and you can save it. Great, and it will start rebooting. So why that reboots, what we are gonna do is quickly log out again and explain how, um, what we're gonna do is do a factory reset now. Okay, so it's not, uh, necessary obviously but who knows so someone maybe tampered with the dvr changed some settings and if it's obviously if you don't have a picture we're going to teach you how to reset the dvr right through sadp tool okay so we log on again it's rebooted it's still okay it's not back yet Okay, it's found our DVR now. We log back onto it again. Oh, still being a bit of a pain. Try one more time. Okay, so just log in again. Now we are going to do a factory reset. So we go to configuration, maintenance and default. Okay, don't restore all. We're just going to go for a default. Yes. Okay, and now we're gonna have a brand new factory reset DVR. We should have no problems. And if there is a problem with the monitor, then you know it's the monitor's issue, not the DVR. Okay, so we hope you guys learned something and don't forget your PC on your next job. And don't forget to subscribe. All right, see you next time. Cheers, bye.